Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter to Bodie and Gentry, Harper and Sophia, Cambry and Peyton, Whitfield, Augustus, Ainsley and Keaton, <clears throat> and happy Easter to our friends gathered here with us this morning. <clears throat> I have a new book I want to read to you today, and it is called God Gave Us Easter, and it's about Papa Bear and Little Bear talking about what Easter is all about. Let's hear. I love Easter, little cub said. Me too, Papa Bear said. It's even better than Christmas. Better than Christmas? Why? So there they are, they're at their table, and they are dying eggs. Because on Christmas, we celebrate Jesus' birthday. But on Easter, we remember we get to be with him forever. Forever? Forever. That's why God gave us Easter. So there they are, and there's her brother and sister, and there's mama, and they're still dying eggs. Silly book. I like the Easter Bunny, cried little cub's sister. And candy, little cub's brother said. The Easter Bunny is like Santa, Papa Bear said. He reminds us of gifts and happy surprises in the morning. But God is the one who gave us Easter. Easter is part of a bigger story that he had in mind a long, long time ago. So there they all are. How did God give us Easter, Papa? See this egg, Papa Bear said. It's a symbol helping us remember. Just like the shell cracks open and a chip comes out, we remember that Jesus was in a tomb, but he didn't stay dead. He did it? No, even death couldn't trap God's son. He is life itself, and God loved us so much. He wanted us to be with him always. We can see signs of his Easter plan all around us. There they are, talking about the chicks and the eggs. Little Cub and Papa went on a hike. They found a big tree that had fallen over in a storm. God told his people that Jesus would come from one family, the root of Jesse. He was called Jesus, Jesse, and his wife and children, and they had children, and they had children. And one of them was Jesus? Yes, little cub. All along, God knew he would give us Easter. So here's that big tree that got pulled out of the ground, maybe because it was older, maybe because the wind knocked it over, but there it is with all its roots. It's sad this big old tree fell down and died, little cub said. Yes, Papa said, but when it did, it made room for new little trees to grow. See how the sun shines now without big branches to block it? See all the sun that's coming down and little trees are starting to come up all because this tree had to die. And how 
all the pine cones fell across the floor. Those pine cones, they'll spread seeds. They will spread seeds, and baby trees will grow just like this one. Out of death comes life. That's how God wants us to see Easter. So there's the pine cones that fell, and these are the little trees that that pine tree is now out of the way so they can grow big. I still don't like dying, little cub said. Neither do I. We were born to love life. God loves life, but sometimes we have to let go of one thing so we can move on to another. So there we have Mama Moose and her baby Moose. And there's Papa and Sister. And there's Little Bunny and Little Deer. For instance, think about this river. Where do little rivers go, little cub? To the ocean. Little cub loved the ocean. Yes, the river ends, but it spreads into something even bigger. Heaven is like an ocean for us. Because we gave God, because God gave us Easter, we can be part of something bigger. And even though we talk to Jesus now in heaven, we will see Jesus face to face. So here's the river, kind of like the river we have right here. It's real big. And our river, our Niobrara River and the Missouri River, they all join into another river. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Couldn't Jesus have waited for us in heaven? A long time ago, God's children wouldn't listen to him. They didn't even believe in him anymore. It made God very sad and angry. So he sent a huge flood to start anew with Noah and his family. In that ark with polar bears? and giraffes, and monkeys, and turtles, too. So there they are, in the river, having a nice conversation. And when the flood was done, God promised never to send another one. Phew, little cub said with relief. That's good. Little cub liked water, but she liked land, too. It is good. After the flood, God gave us a rainbow as a sign of his promise. But when his children, who said they'd follow him, were disobedient again, he had to find a way to keep us connected once and for all. God wants nothing more than to be close to us, his children. So there they are, they're getting their boat back up on the land, and then there we see the beautiful rainbow we can see in the sky after we have a nice rainfall. We can always remember Jesus when we see that rainbow, and it's God's promise to us. So Jesus keeps the promises we broke, and because of him, God forgives us when we do bad choices. All of us, everyone who believes in him. That's how God gave us Easter. So there they are, and they're playing in the water, and they're talking about Jesus and, and why it is that we get to be in heaven with Jesus. Do you talk to Pop to Jesus, Papa? Every day, Bear said, all day. Does he talk back? In a way, it's like a whisper in my heart. In your 
your heart? I thought we listened with our ears. <laughs> we do. But to hear Jesus, it takes a special kind of listening. There they are in the forest. And the forest can be a really quiet place too, where we might be able to hear Jesus speaking to us. Little Cub was silent for the rest of the walk home. She was trying to listen with her heart. She listened and listened and listened. There she is, taking her time, softly and quietly, walking through the forest in hopes of hearing Jesus. That night, as Papa and Mama tucked her into bed, she was still listening. And as her parents kissed her and hugged her, she turned over and remembered she was God's child too. In that moment, she felt comfy and cozy and cared for, almost as if Jesus had whispered, I love you in her heart. I love you too, Jesus, little cub whispered. Thanks for giving us Easter. There she is in her bed with Mama and Daddy, giving her hugs and kisses and feeling oh so comfortable and warm. The next morning, little cub said, Papa, I think I heard God last night. You did? He said, putting his arm around her. Well, that's the best Easter present ever. What did he say? I love you. Mmm, those are good words. Perfect words. And they really are what Easter is all about. There they are, out on Easter morning, looking for eggs among the brand new little trees, all remembering that Jesus loves us. And that's why God gave us Easter. Happy Easter, boys and girls. <laughs>